All right, just got back from O'Reilly's. Um, got a couple relays. So now we're going to actually do the wire finalization. So <clears throat> this wire right here is ran to the battery. If you end up uh, with the battery in the front, obviously you need to remove your paneling and then run the wire underneath the paneling all the way up to the engine bay up front. But our, uh, our battery mounted back here. So here's our wire. We're just gonna run it in. We're gonna tie it into that bad boy right there. So we're good to go. <clears throat> but here we go. So um, I'm gonna split. I'm gonna split this wire into power for both of these relays. Both of these relays obviously are going to power up both pumps. So I'm going to use the ECU will activate one relay and then the power will power the pump and then we're going to ground them both <clears throat> and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the ground activation for the secondary pump up to the hob switch so we do got a ground wire that we need to run all the way to the front on our relays <clears throat> remember if, if you guys don't know relays very well 30 30 and 87 are your switched on 85 and 86 are your activation so you're gonna end up with um, with power and then this will be uh, feed power and then used power basically you know by the pump so figure battery pump um, ground and activation 12 volt source on or in the case that we're gonna do the secondary this will be fed by the same power that's feeding this guy. And then this, this will be ground and this will activate the pump. So there we go. What I like to do is I like to kind of do it one at a time since these two legs are going to be my activation I'm going to go get some black tape we're going to go ahead and tape these up get these out of the way run them underneath so these things aren't bugging anything then I'm going to go get a self tapper and we'll end up making a ground area smaller roll so I can get in there tape this all up mainly I just want to get this wired back far enough or taped back far enough so it does not interfere with the fuel lines as you you know install and remove these pumps if you ever have to later on again so red is power red is power to the pump <clears throat> purple is activation so here we go We're going to go 87 or our pump power. Let's call it pump power. And then they're numbered on the bottom. So this one is called 87, 87A, 87, 87. Right there, that will be our power to our pump. All right. This one is going to go to 80, 86 or 85, doesn't matter which. This power wire comes from the ECU to tell the pump to come on. This was the original power wire. Now we're just using it to activate the relay. So, pull it, run it over to 85 or 86. 85 or 86, which are across from each other. It does not matter which side it goes to. Okay. So, got that, got that. Now, we're going to wire in our split. This big fat wire is our main power leg. Here's our power for our secondary relay. I have to actually split this into two, two pegs on this. So, all right, so that's my power on. Let's go ahead and run. Try to keep this looking sanitary. Let's run this relay. I don't know if I want to run it up. 
Yeah, the seat might be okay. Might just run it right next to the other one. Anyway, so one of the main secrets um, to Evos is, is that they actually have a variable uh, voltage pump, right? So your main supply uh, to your fuel pump is variable by the ECU. So best thing you can do is isolate that and uh, make it straight 12 volts. Because with your alternator, when it's running and stuff, that turns out to be 14 volts, which gives you quite a bit more power, especially if it's an aftermarket pump. So power, that's going to go to 80, let's see, we'll take that one to 87, 87, so that's going to be our power on, all right, all right, so this leg, since I'm going to be up there, I'm going to have to split this leg into two right away. Since these uh, connectors aren't big enough to house two wires, I'm going to have to wire it off. Make sure you get a good crimp. A lot of people like to pull test. Make sure that you got a good crimp. Not a bad thing to do. So, cut that. Cut that. Get two spades. Okay. So here's our twin leg that's wide, right? So that's power on. So one of these legs is going to go to 30 because I have this power going to that, or this power, which is 87 or 87A. Um, this is going to be one half of our, our switched on source, right? So this will go to 30, power from the battery, and then this will go to, what do I got this, running to 85. That'll be 85. Come on, get on there. Boom. Now, our ground, our ground coming from our engine bay, it's going to run up and over and down and around and do some funky stuff. It's going to run right up and over to there. Here is our hob switch ground relay activation wire. Connect that there. Got it. So let's undo this. I need to go get the uh, drill so I can mount that relay. Okay. So here is our, this is our pump ground for our secondary. Secondary pump. We'll run that over, through, over, and around, and through, and da 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 da. So I got a self-tapper, don't worry, this area. Uh, you don't gotta worry about the gas tank, so no problems there. Um, yeah, I got my bit, so let's go ahead and, oh wait, duh, it's right there. So we're gonna run this wire and this wire together right here for our grounds. And after that, just gonna kind of do a little loom tape action here. Just kind of keep the wires together. It doesn't have to be the whole way. That way you can at least kind of diagnose something if something happens. Just do a couple sections here where we will. So there's our wiring. Secondary relay. Primary relay. All right, I'm done in here. Tell you what. Um, you know, Evos are fun. You build them right. You know what you're doing. I mean, don't get me wrong, dude. I'm not, you know, a number one uh, Evo builder. But, I mean, I know my way around the car a little bit. So, let's say this. You know, so far, so good. A lot of these cars have been putting down some numbers, which is good. I'm glad. This thing should be interesting. Uh, I'll say this. This is the first time I've ever had an Evo with air suspension. I know you can't really see that very well, but there's your pump, there's your splitter, there's your air tank. This thing's got airbags. Check this out. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this very well, but uh, uh, those are your airbags. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this thing can be a low rider or a four wheel drive. If you can 
really see them any better now. Can't really see them any better on this side either. So, but yeah, this, uh, this car is definitely an interesting car. Not bad looking either. Definitely tasteful. Um, you know, got an FP Black. Good turbo. Uh, if these things weren't so spendy and as laggy as they are, I'd probably throw one on the F old lady's uh, Evo. I uh, definitely want to get an uh, FP Green or an FP Red for her car. You know, so when I go and drive it, it'll be, uh, you know, a little more fun. But uh, in the meantime, we are, uh, I guess, finalizing, building, doing as much as we can to these cars uh, to get them ready. Here's this wire. It's kind of dark, I know. Here's the wire from, this is the, this going to the hob switch. I got to drill a hole up by the fuel pump, or fuel, fuel pump, fuel pedal, and run this wire uh, out through this area, because here's the, the steering bag or the steering column uh, sock or whatever, and drill a hole somewhere in this area, run the hob switch up over to the backside of the intake, and, um, you know, pipe it in directly.